When you speak, how important is it to get a standing ovation, and should you even try for one? Well, the answer to that question can be found in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. As I continue my journey toward Las Vegas, I'm coming to you live from the Mojave Desert. And it's only about 59 degrees, so it's not bad. I've been here when it's 118, that's not so pleasant. One of the goals I often hear speakers talk about is getting a standing ovation. And on the surface, it sounds like a good goal. But when you dig deeper, what is a standing ovation all about? More specifically, who is it about? It's about the speaker. Having gotten a standing ovation or two in my career, I can tell you it feeds the ego. But is that why you're speaking? Who are you there for? If you're serious about speaking and you want to leave a message with the audience, don't seek the standing ovation. Instead, consider following the advice of my coach Craig who says, don't speak for standing ovations, speak for standing invitations. What he means is leave a message that's so powerful and so impactful that audiences ask you back time and time again. This is far more valuable than any standing ovation ever will be. One of the challenges I have with the standing O is that often it feels like an obligation from the crowd. I've sat in auditoriums and meeting halls and seen audiences stand out of what I felt was obligation. The message wasn't strong, if there was one at all. The speech wasn't that good, but still people stood. I never want an audience to feel obligated to give me a standing ovation because they think they should. I'd prefer to have them sit there in silence, contemplating the power of my words and its implication to their lives. The next time you speak, should your goal be a standing ovation? No, it should be a standing invitation to return and share more of your message and leave an impact on an audience. We'll talk with you soon on my continuing journey in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.